good morning students how are you all i hope everyone is happy god bless you and your family in the previous section we saw about plastics and types of plastic what is meant by plastics plastic as a material has taken over and replaced metal and wood which were previously used plastics have also replaced many glass items if we continue to write the list of everyday item that are made up of plastics plastics have helped us to make advancement in technology building healthcare transport and food safety plastics have completely occupied our life because of their characteristics qualities next one uses of plastics there are different types of plastics that are excellent material when they are used for the right application for example let us take a syringe that is made from a types of plastics called polypropylene the syringe do not have to be sterilized and reused hence they provide a high standard of hygiene and eliminated the risk of spreading diseases now move on types of plastics the plastics we use in our daily life are also made up of polymers all plastic do not have the same types of arrangement of units in some article the arrangement of monomerous it's linear and in some other item the arrangement of article in cross linked depending on the types of arrangement we have two main types of polymers thermoplastics and thermosetting plastics now move on thermoplastics thermoplastic polythene it's a example of plastics it is used for making polythene carry bag which are commonly used plastics which can be easily softened and bent when heated are known as thermoplastic these plastic can be modified and turned into another plastic item through the process of recycling second one thermosetting plastics on the other hand uh, there are some plastics which once they are molded cannot be softened through heating them this are called thermosetting plastics bakelite and the melamine or some example of thermosetting plastics now move on impacts of plastics plastic are cheap lightweight strong and durable and have contributed to a range of advances and benefits to our modern life but the increase in the use of plastic particularly the one time use and the throw away plastics has serious impact on the environment animal and our health i welcome everyone back to my class today we are going to discuss about plastics and uses can you see how much plastic litter polluted our environment litter means a piece of paper rubbish etc that are left in a public place how nice would it be if a material that had similar quality to plastic could be biodegradable be absorbed by the soil and give nutrient to the soil scientists have thought about alternative to synthetic plastics and have found polylactic acid pla pla means polylactic acid polylactic acid or polylactic it's a compostable and bioactive thermoplastic this polymerous it's to get something from plant starch 
such as corn, sugar cane and bulk from sugar beet. Polylactic acid is a biodegradable material. It is useful for making food packaging, garbage bag and disposable tableware. Now move on. Various method of disposing plastics. Plastics are everywhere. Our increasing consumptions and the production of plastic waste needs a solution. Let us find out more about how and where plastic waste is disposed of and the better method of disposing plastic. Organic waste such as fields of vegetable, fruits and food remains can get broken down by bacteria in the soil. To create a rich source of nutrients in the form of compost. Material that gets decomposed through the natural process and the action by bacteria is called biodegradable. Plastics do not decompose by natural process and the action of bacteria and are therefore not biodegradable. It is important for us to separate our biodegradable and non-biodegradable waste and dispose of them separately. Plastic waste ends up being recycled, incineration, burning, landfill, dump or end up littering our environment. Left in the public place. It is estimated that from all the plastic waste ever produced, 79% is landfill, dump or in the environment. 12% been burning and only a small 9% is recycled. Now move on. 5 or principle. Let us learn more about the what happened with the plastic waste. One way to look at the plastic disposal in the 5 or principle. First one. Refuse, reduce, reuse, recycle and recover. In order to save environment from harmful effect of plastic, we should use 5R principle already I have told you. 5R principle first one. Refuse. The best things to do to avoid using plastic product. One time use throw away plastic can often be avoided. For example, we can carry cotton or jute bags when we go shopping and say no when your shopkeeper offer use as a plastic bags. One more example, we should say no to single use plastic bags. Now move on, reduce. One of the easiest things we can do is to reduce or lower the amount of things we throw away. Almost one third of all the waste we make in the US is a form of packaging. Can you think of any way to use less packaging? For example, instead of buying small package of snacks for your lunch buy one large bag and divide into smaller portions that you can carry in a reusable plastic container here some more ideas use a refillable water bottle instead of buying buying individual plastic bottles of water write or print on both side of paper put your sandwich in the reusable plastic container instead of plastic a plastic bag that gets thrown away now move on reuse if possible product made up of plastics can be used again and again for example if we have a plastic bag in good condition instead of 
throwing it away we can use it again the next time we go for shopping if we have a plastic product and if you do not feel like using it again we can give it to other instead of throwing it out next one recycle it is better to recycle plastic waste separating plastic waste and making sure it gets recycled in good as it turn waste material into something new product then it, it will not be throw away in landfills open dump or ending of litter in the environment many thermoplastic can be recycled for example plastic carry bags toys mug something they can be softened by heating and can be made into another article by recycling but thermo setting plastic cannot be recycled many different types of plastic which are often mixed together making it difficult to separate them back into the original material every time plastic it's melted and recycle it lost quality this is called down cycling recycling of plastic waste cannot be only solution to plastic pollution now move on recover compost and incinerate solid waste like plastics metal aluminium can be converted into resources such as electricity and compost through thermal and biological means burning the plastic in large furnace or in the open bad for the environment open burning release toxic pollution into air and soil which are harmful to our health animal and the environment burning plastics at a high temperature in incineration and trapping the gases and collecting the toxic poison ash it's a widely used to produce energy this is often seen a positive way to deal with the plastic waste however burning plastic release super poison gases and the, the remaining ash contain poison chemical and heavy metals burning of plastic is not a good solution as we end up wasting non renewable we cannot re- reuse resources and produce super poison chemical that are difficult to store or disposable safely today science assignment learn answer the following thank you